Yes, there was shock. Oh, in St. Louis, that was a very, very, uh, that was not greeted warmly. I was completely shocked when I heard that Keith Hernandez got traded to the Mets. I just, it, it just shocked me because he was such a good Cardinal and such a good Cardinal player. And uh, I don't know what happened, but I know I was, I was shocked and uh, a lot of players were shocked. I was awful that thought, who are these guys? Who's Neil Allen and Rick Obey? When Whitey, I guess to his credit, wouldn't offer up why. There were some rumblings that Keith had had some drug issues or some kind of issues off the field. Maybe the word had got around that there were some, some culture issues with the Cardinals involving Keith. I don't know for sure about that, but uh, you would think that he would have got a better haul than that, but maybe teams sensed that, hey, the Cardinals are desperate here. Let's not, let's not mortgage the farm here. And the Mets were awful. Awful. <laughs> and all because we were just bad. The team was really, really bad. I think that we were in transition. A lot of young guys coming up. The reaction was, why? Why? Not, not in the Mets end. Well, how are they getting this guy? Because you knew how, you know, he was, he was an MVP a few years earlier. They had just won a championship. Why are they getting rid of this guy who's an all-star first baseman? So a lot of unanswered questions. But, it, you know, from the Mets point of view, is was, whoa, <laughs> this, this could be a big move here. This is the kind of guy they need right now. Waddy didn't like me for some reason. Didn't like my, my, didn't like the way I played. I know some of the team, my teammates, told me that Waddy would ask questions. You know, so, you know, he didn't like me. I was a chatterbox. He didn't like that I talked all the time. I just never felt that uh, that I lived up to his expectation.